Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dugo, the nootropic reviewer, and sometimes nootropic supplements can give you side effects, but some of the times they actually have side benefits. And in this case, I actually used a specific compound for the purpose of improving my mood and helping with my energy levels, but it surprisingly had a unique benefit in that I actually improved my sleep quality, meaning longer sleep durations, more REM sleep, more deep sleep, and less instances of waking up. And this compound is not your typical amino acid or herbal compound, it's actually a dye called methylen blue. And methylen blue has become one of the most popular popular compounds amongst biohackers, amongst fitness enthusiasts, and people are looking to increase their productivity. However, there's a lot of warnings and controversies around methylene blue, which is one of the reasons why I do not plan to take this compound long term. I was actually very skeptical about initially using it, but I figured to use the compound because the research as well as anecdotes don't have too many concerns around side effects with the exception of serotonin syndrome. It is a dye, meaning that your urine will turn blue. There's some articles about brain autopsies actually showing that brains turn blue following using this this methylene blue dye. And I had spent a considerable amount of time looking at research as well as anecdotes before trying it for myself. I used it for about a month straight. I noticed I was in a better mood. I had slightly better cardio and then I took a long break, but I noticed that following using methylene blue, my sleep quality just was not the same. So what I decided to do was get back on methylene blue for a short duration and just experiment whether or not it was responsible for improving my sleep quality. And at the same time, I abandoned the typical nootropic supplements that I would use for sleep, including magnesium l 3 I also like shodanashwa Ghana, there's some good research backing that. And I strictly use methylene blue at a serving size of 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams once per day. I found that it doesn't really matter when during the day you take it. Surprisingly, methylene blue actually worked like magic. I even experimented with using methylene blue on a cutting diet. What happens is during a cutting diet is that you have to decrease your calories. And as a result of decreasing calories, often you have to decrease your carbohydrates. And when you decrease your carbohydrates, you have less circulating serotonin. This is one of the reasons why for people to improve their sleep quality, often they'll take honey or they'll take a carbohydrate rich meal before bed. However, during a cut, you're on less calories, so your sleep quality really suffers. For me, I'm only able to sleep like six hours or so during a cutting period, and so that was one of the biggest signs that methylene blue was actually working, was I noticed that when I was using methylene blue during a cutting period, I was still able to, if I wanted to, have eight, even nine hours of sleep. And I track my sleep on devices such as the Aura Ring. I've also got an Ultra Human Ring. I also have an Apple Watch. And the few things that I look out for specifically along with sleep duration would be my REM sleep. REM sleep has a lot to do with cognition, with mood, with memory, with learning speed. This study shows that higher REM sleep helps with the consolidation of memories and they even found that more REM sleep helped to better control emotions when people experienced fear. So when I get more REM sleep, those are days when I'll typically put more on my cognitive load. I'll put more work during the day and more decision making. I find that when I have less REM sleep, I kind of avoid the uh, highly cognitive taxing work. I really avoid making important decisions because you want to make sure you have enough REM sleep. And the other sleep metric that I think really matters is your deep sleep. And deep sleep has a lot to do with physical recovery. So if you want to have really good workouts and if you aspire to lose fat, to build muscle, to enhance recovery, you definitely want to watch for your deep sleep. As per this study, they found that growth hormone is predominantly secreted during deep sleep. If you were to ask which one is more important, I think they're both important. I think that if you don't get enough deep sleep, then you also don't have enough physical energy. And the reality is, is that if you want to have optimal productivity, you need to not only feel good mentally, but you also need to feel good physically. And that's why both sleep measures really matter and I found that using methylene blue has really helped to increase both numbers. I'm able to score about two hours of REM sleep as well as two hours of deep sleep which is a good sign for me. And these are numbers that I'm proud of as I'm usually scoring between one hour 15 minutes to one hour 30 minutes for both REM and my deep sleep. One of the areas that I've been a little bit disappointed with methylene blue has been its effects on mood. I would have expected that something that can potentially increase serotonin levels so significantly would help me to be in a better mood and it would help me to tolerate stress better and I've not really found that methylene blue is even as effective as 5-HTP. 5-HTP is another supplement that increases levels of serotonin and I noticed that when I take 5-HTP, it's like I get this instant fix of happiness. And therefore, it doesn't matter if I get a flat tire, if something bad happens in my business, it's like when you're using 5-HTP, these things don't bother you whatsoever and it makes you more productive because you're far less likely to overthink things or your mind doesn't go through that negative spiral down to what's the worst case scenario. It actually helps you to stay focused, stay present. Just one of the issues with 5-HTP is that it does feel like you're putting a bandage over an issue and there are certainly better ways of solving your problems like meditation, like taking a walk. And I've talked more about 5-HTP in this video over here, but I would not mix 5-HTP or anything which could potentially increase serotonin levels with methylene blue. Some of the other compounds that you may want to consider avoiding would be um, St. John's wort and rhodiola rosea. When combining too many serotonin boosting supplements, it can set you up for having too much serotonin. And when you're using methylene blue, understand that you should really not be taking it every single day for an extended period of time. This is a compound that 
I'll probably only use two to three months of the year, just depending on what I'm going through. But now that I've found that it has such a profound and significant effects on sleep, this is one way in which I plan to use the compound. The way that you'll most likely come across the product will be in the powder form or the liquid dropper. I personally prefer using the powder, but I would say the liquid droppers are probably more popular. And it's been said that when you're using the dropper form, if you are to mix it with water as well as some vitamin C, it could take away the blue dye phenomenon. I've not personally tried that. One of the things that surprised me most about methylene blue consumption is that it didn't seem like taking more had any benefit. Like I saw no changes in uh, the sleep benefits, the recovery benefits, the cardiovascular benefits if I were to take a serving size as high as 200 milligrams versus using 50 milligrams. So from my experience 50 to 100 milligrams seems like a good place to start but you can start off with an even smaller dose than that and I don't think that it matters when during the day you take it. I think it matters more so that you're staying consistent with the use. For me I'll personally start to feel the effects after about three days of using methylene blue and one of the things that I actually enjoy most about methylene blue and I know it's working and I know that it's saturated my system is that of course your urine starts to turn blue. One other neat benefit is that I also don't feel as hungry during the day which would make sense since methylene blue is increasing levels of serotonin and one of the common things that you'll come across in weight loss products or products that will suppress your appetite are compounds that will actually increase levels of serotonin. So this makes sense because methylene blue is doing just that. And in the event that you are going to use methylene blue every single day for an extended period I would say that you're going to be best off cycling off the compound. You definitely don't want to build any sort of tolerance to it. When it comes to building a tolerance to compounds I found that everyone's different at the end of the day like there are some compounds where I may not build a tolerance to but other individuals may and so I would not use methylene blue in a fashion of using it every single day for over two months. And there's a couple approaches you can take when it comes to cycling the compound something like two months on followed by three weeks off could be a good practice or using it in a cycle which isn't ideal but uh, taking it five days on two days off so weekdays on weekends off that may work for you. I've not found that it's useful to use like methylene blue before any sort of like um, cognitively de demanding tasks and following methylene blue ingestion don't expect to feel anything like it's not stimulating it's not energizing so that also makes it probably applicable to take before going to bed but even if you want to get the sleep benefits like I'm getting it doesn't matter when during the day you take it in fact I'm typically taking it an hour after waking up along with my pre-workout supplements and my plan moving forward is to only use methylene blue during those periods where for some reason I'm not getting good sleep and this happens to me I would say every few months I go through a week or so where I just seem to not be able to sleep my normal seven hours so I would use methylene blue during those periods I may also consider using it during a cutting diet. Although one of the greater concerns is that we don't have much research done on methylene blue's consumption for humans. We have some research showing that it's had positive effects on animals, but of course we don't have any research suggesting that it can be safe and healthy for us long term. So do your due diligence when it comes to methylene blue. And if you did enjoy this content, make sure to click subscribe and drop a comment below with your thoughts. If you want to shop the one-on-one, -on -one, you can connect with me on Patreon and be sure to visit our Discord server and I look forward to seeing you next time.